Hello. If you haven't been hiding under a rock, you would have realized how this the humble semiconductor IC has all of a sudden become very important to geopolitical contestation. Whether it is Taiwan, US, China, EU or India, all countries are trying to get semiconductor production going in their own countries. So, why have semiconductors become so important to geopolitics? That's what we will discuss in this video. In my view, semiconductors are not just critical, they are metacritical and they are metacritical in three different aspects. First, the technological aspect. Now, as we all know, technology is going to be a bigger and bigger component of national power in the information age. And semiconductors are foundational to all critical and emerging technologies as we go ahead. Just take an example. First, artificial intelligence. Now for artificial intelligence, it, you require semiconductor architectures which can speed up processing between the memory and the processor. You require something new called AI chips that again requires semiconductor progress and advancement. Second, look at the 5G revolution. Even for 5G communication technology, you require edge computing, you require new baseband chips and amplifiers which can work at different frequency ranges. Again, semiconductors are central to this. Third, look at the automobile industry. Even for the automobile industry, newer things like higher safety standards or autonomous driving, all these things require better chips, better memory ICs and better sensors. So going ahead, any technology policy of any nation state in the future has to factor in the role of semiconductors. The second reason why semiconductors are metacritical is in the economic sense. All other aspects of your economy are also dependent on the semiconductor supply chain working well and fine. Just look at automotives. Try buying a car and you will face months and months of delays now. And that delays are happening because of the bottlenecks in the semiconductor supply chain. Now why this has happened is because the semiconductor supply chain is globally integrated. It's a brilliant thing in a sense that not all companies have to manufacture all aspects of semiconductors. You know, what has happened is that over the years, there is a wide diversification. Instead of each country manufacturing semiconductors on their own, each company and a few select countries do a small little part of this entire supply chain. Now this worked perfectly well. It liberated many companies from investing billions and billions of dollars in semiconductor manufacturing, which is a really costly process. In fact, it moved to a few select countries in East Asia like Taiwan, South Korea and earlier Japan. Now this worked perfectly fine when the world was normal. But when there are shocks like COVID-19 on when there are geographic problems such as a drought in Taiwan or let's say an earthquake in Japan, this entire supply chain can be thrown off gear. And because of the semiconductor supply chain being thrown off gear, entire economies can be hurt. And that's the reason why semiconductors have become important for national policy in many, many countries. And finally, semiconductors are important from the geopolitical sense as well. Now, Willie Shi of Harvard Business School calls this semiconductor supply chain as a transcontinental relay race with hidden hurdles. That's a beautiful analogy. And countries can choose to put these hurdles in front of another country for the pursuit of a geopolitical motive. That's precisely what the US has done with regards to China. Now, China's rapid advancements in technology are known to everyone. But one place where they are not that advanced is semiconductor design, manufacturing and assembly. And that's precisely where the US has acted to prevent Chinese companies like Huawei to access semiconductor manufacturing facilities in Taiwan. So semiconductors have become a front for this technology and trade war between US and China. The second reason why geopolitics and semiconductors have become intertwined is the central role of Taiwan. As China and Taiwan relations have worsened, 
there is a lot of threat that Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing facilities might face a lot of cyber attacks or might even be taken over. Now, this is really important because Taiwan alone accounts for nearly 70% of the total global contract manufacturing of semiconductors. So whether it's your Apple iPhone or your laptop, which is based on an Intel processor, all of those chips are finally manufactured in Taiwan. And that's why Taiwan's relationship with China being what it is, has caused fears in the minds of many countries across the world that if China were to take over Taiwan, the entire semiconductor industry of the world would be hit. And finally, there have also been some reports that there has been espionage using hardware chips and that has been done by China in the US. Though these reports are still hugely contested, DARPA, which is a part of the US military industrial complex has been looking to finance a lot of semiconductor initiatives that can increase hardware security. This again underlies the geopolitical importance of semiconductors. So what we learned is that semiconductors are metacritical in three respects, technological, economic and geopolitical. And that's the reason why you will see a lot more movement on this front going ahead. So if you like this video, let us know. And if you want to know more about this industry and the geopolitics, please send in your comments and we'll be happy to make more videos on this subject. Bye.